right, here we go. It is the BCJ Nightcap brought to you by Galactic Fried Chicken right here on FairCatJournal.com. I'm Chad Brindle. And uh, thanks to our friends at Galactic Fried Chicken for bringing you the best nightly YouTube show devoted to the Cincinnati Bearcats. That's undisputed. They're, they're, that's a fact. It's a fact. Galactic Fried Chicken sponsors the best nightly YouTube show covering the Cincinnati Bearcats. I can say that. Without even without even feeling challenged. Galacticfriedchicken.com. Download it. Get the app. See if they deliver to you. You got you got like two days left. The 18th, uh, the night, three days left. The 18th, 19th, and 20th. They uh, they go on Christmas break on the 21st. They'll be at the bowl game. They come back uh, a little after the start of the year. So if you're gonna get your Galactic Fried Chicken, get it soon. We had somebody hit me up on Twitter tonight. Said they tried Galactic Fried Chicken for the first time. And it was out of this world. It's it, it's great stuff. Like, it really is great fried chicken. Great chicken tenders. Great sides. They only do two apps. Deviled eggs and fried pickles. But they do them on an otherworldly level. So make sure you get down there. And while you're there, get you some of this. The Chipotle honey mustard dipping sauce. It's it's amazing. It's so good. So good. If you don't have this, you're doing condiments wrong. It'll become your favorite condiment. You'll put it on everything. Not a lot to get to tonight other than uh, COVID is back in college basketball. It is. It's had a big impact around the country. Cincinnati is one of the uh, victims, if you will. Texas Southern with COVID inside their program. So they will not be at Fifth Third Arena at noon on Saturday. Um, it's winter. <laughs> it's a virus. Winter, winter creates spread of viruses. And COVID is, uh, is back in our lives for right now. Uh, Wes Miller scrambled. They put together a game with Ashland University. And here, here's what I want people to understand, right? Like, this was a, a home game for Cincinnati. There's tickets sold. There's money on the line for the University of Cincinnati. So if they're going to replace the game, they need somebody to come to Cincinnati. And they need them to, to get here within 24, 48 hours of finding out that the, their current game is canceled. I know they reached out a couple different avenues, a couple teams that had cancellations uh, that they had hoped were looking for games. They were looking for games, but only on their terms. And Cincinnati needed a home game. So Ashland agreed. Ashland University in Ohio, they're coming down. They'll play at 1 o'clock tomorrow inside Fifth Third Arena. Uh, and, and here's my take on it. Is it ideal? No. It Does it count? As a, a, a game in the net, does it count towards Cincinnati's potential tournament or NIT or whatever resume? No. But playing games is better than not playing games, right? Like, get a game in. If you can, if you can get a game to happen this weekend, get the game in. Do what you have to do. <coughs> so... That's where we're at. It's going to be an uncomfortable couple of months for college basketball. Um, Cincinnati is dealing in a tough spot right now. They are um, scheduled to play Saturday, tomorrow, and then Tuesday against Tennessee Tech. Uh, and then they're off until the 28th when conference play starts at Houston. Presumably, kids are going to go home, spend the holidays with their families. This virus right now is all over the place. It's it's not great. Like, who knows where we're going to be in two weeks? Um, it, it, it has me concerned about UC. It has me concerned about the college football playoff. 
We've seen it's already wreaking havoc in the NFL. I'm really interested to see over the next 10 days what the bowl situation, what bowl games look like. Um, I'm interested to see our team's going to be going home for Christmas. Is Cincinnati going to let players? I think it's going to be tough for Cincinnati because I believe the schedule is that they leave on the 26th to go to, to Dallas, Arlington, whatever. Um, and if that's the case, they would have to report back on Christmas. Are they are they going to let kids go home for Christmas Eve and Christmas morning and then have to make it back to campus to report and, and get ready to leave for the Cotton Bowl? We'll see. But – uh, the basketball game tomorrow is just an indication that this COVID stuff is is very real. And the problem is nobody has a good answer. You don't have a good answer. Your, your cousin on Facebook doesn't have a good answer. The CDC doesn't have a good answer. Get vaccinated, get boosted. Um, do everything possible to keep this thing at bay. But th it's still not perfect. None of it's perfect. It's still a work in progress. And sports, by proxy, are at the mercy of that. So we're going to have to ride this ride as we figure it out going forward. Um, I know personally, and this is just a comment in general, I know we're at risk. Kelly's at risk every day because of her immune system and, and everything she's been through. So we have to be careful. We have to be cautious. Uh, so that's that's where we're at. And I would imagine if you're trying to win a national championship, you're going to be extra cautious as well. If you're trying to get through a basketball season, if you're trying to develop and build a basketball program, you're going to be cautious as well. That's where UC's at. Uh, it sucks. It sucks. This all sucks. I'm so sick of it. But there's not an easy answer, unfortunately. Tomorrow, 1 o'clock, Bearcats take on Ashland. We'll be back here tomorrow night recapping what we saw and uh, moving through the weekend. That's going to do it. This is the Galactic Fried Chicken BCJ Nightcap right here on BearcatJournal.com.